Hi and welcome back to Doc Off Call. My name is Maddie, your doctor from the UK. Welcome to another episode of My Anime Clinic, where I break down the medical science in some of my favourite anime and anime episodes. In today's video, we're going to be looking at another fan-suggested episode of the Gintama series. Specifically, we're going to be looking at episode 171, the episode where the whole team's suffering with hair loss. Now, hair loss is a very common complaint, and I have personal experience of this, but it doesn't necessarily mean there's something to worry about, although it can be upsetting. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be going through the different causes, when you might need to see your doctor, as well as some of the available treatments. And don't forget, if you like videos like this, there's many more of them on my channel, so why not come across and have a look? Let's have a look at today's scene. Now, hair loss is so common. In fact, the statistics show that up to two-thirds of men will experience some form of hair loss during their lifetime. So when you actually ridicule someone for being bold or suffering from hair loss, it's a bit of a double-edged sword because the odds are we're all likely to experience some form of it in our lifetime. <laughs> Mm. So it can be normal to notice that you've got hairs on your pillow when you wake up in the morning because we all lose anywhere between 50 to 100 hairs each day without noticing. Now this is all due to the natural process by which hair goes through its cycle of growth, shedding and renewal. So it shouldn't be too concerning if you did see some hair on your pillow. Mm. Oh. Yeah, so this is a very common way in which pa patients present through to me as their GP, either describing that they notice lots of hair loss when they put their hands through their hair, when they're brushing or shampooing, and as you've seen there, they can also see lots of it clogging up the, uh, the drain of the shower, which can be very concerning for people. Yeah, so it can be a really confusing time for people to go through when you start to begin to notice, you know, losing your hair. And this process can start really early in some people, you know, as young as 16 or 17 years old. And I don't think there's ever a good time to lose hair, but particularly at that age, it can be really challenging. Um, I remember when I started to lose my hair and you can almost go through like a, a grief response when you begin to lose it. You can't quite believe that it's happening to you and it begins to affect your self-confidence and self-esteem, uh, particularly at a young age. Oh gosh. Oh no. Yeah, so it looks like Gintuki's here type, his type of hair loss uh, would be that of a male pattern baldness. Uh, which is actually the commonest type of baldness that, that men suffer from. And what this is due to is the effects of testosterone on the hair follicles uh, that leads to excessive loss. Um, and this tends to occur in a typical pattern uh, where the hair begins to recede gradually backwards um, and it tends to follow what we call a Norwood classification system, um, as you can see in the diagram. And I would say at the minute he's probably like Norwood 1 or 2. So he's still got quite a lot of hair left. Okay, yes, and so it looks like Kagura's also lost some of her hair as well, and that's important to say that uh, it's not just something that affects men, and it can also affect women. And it's estimated that one third of women will actually experience some form of hair loss in their lifetime. Now, mostly this occurs in women who are um, just after pregnancy or after going through the menopause, where up to two thirds of women can actually experience some hair thinning, um, which can be really distressing for women.
それあれだよねお父さんの影響であれっていうかあれだよねあれあれ今度はあれあれあるかあれあれ詐欺あるか違うから今遺伝の話してるからお父さんのあれそれと関係あるんじゃねえのそれと Yeah so I think Gintuki is onto something here、um, you know there is a genetic component、um, to hair loss And it can run in families, particularly male pattern baldness. But I think Kagura's type of hair loss here looks a little bit different. Now, the pattern that this is more associated with is something called alopecia areata,、um, and this can be caused by underlying physical problems. So, probably on Kagura, I wouldn't just assume that this was a, a sort of normal response to hormones, and I'd want to do some investigations to check things like her thyroid or other autoimmune conditions that can sometimes trigger this type of hair loss. I mean, a good thing about it is that if it's triggered by something, often it's reversible. Sugar, yeah, <laughs> Shimpachi's losing it as well. And this is a very weird pattern of hair loss. This isn't really matching anything that I'm familiar with as a doctor, and I'd be thinking of weird and wonderful things here. He's almost got the opposite type of hair loss that、uh, Gintuki's got,、um, and it would make me want to think about other potential things. So, you know, the other things that can trigger hair loss are things like stress or nutritional deficiencies.、Um, sometimes medications can do it, like anti cancer medications. Um, but this one, this one's really worrying, so I, I, don't, I don't quite know what pattern that one is. So, I'm going to go to the Yorozea Kinku Taisak Kaigi. I'm going to go to the Yorozea Kinku Taisak Kaigi. I'm going to go to the y o r o z e a k i n k When should you speak up about your hair loss? When should you worry? And when should you go and see a doctor? Well, I think if you're losing hair in an abnormal pattern, if it's coming out in clumps like s h i m p a c h i s or k i n t u k i s is, Um, or if it itches or it burns, or you've noticed a sort of change in the skin、uh, in the scalp,、um, or even if you're just worried about it and you want someone to check it over, it would be sensible to go and see a doctor at that stage. Hi! Hi! Shimpachi Kun! Kon nano, setta yo kashi desu yo! Minna ga sorote hageru nante! Oh, it's still a little bit of 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 a Yeah, I agree. It is a really delicate issue and something that people can become very sensitive about. In fact, I was very sensitive about it when it, when it first started happening to me.、Um, and it can be so distressing for some people that they end up needing sort of counselling、um, just to help sort of、uh, help them come to terms with what's happening and allow them to regain their self confidence and self esteem. She's using that as a m u s t a c h Yeah, and so this is the main focus for many of the treatments for hair loss, particularly male pattern baldness. What they look to do、uh, with treatment is halt、um, the process rather than be able to sort of reverse it. At the moment, there isn't a miracle cure,、um, all there is is treatments to help slow it down. And possibly regain a small amount、uh, of, of hair back. Hmm. What's going on? I'm going to go to the house. 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 Okay, so they've got this lotion and a brush, and they're going to apply it to the scalp. And this sounds very similar to the types of treatments you can actually buy over the counter, such as like minoxidil shampoo. Um, and um, this is a common remedy for people who are suffering from male pattern baldness,、um, but it can also be used in women.、Um, and what it looks to do is it、um, looks to increase blood flow around the hair follicle and uh, stimulates um, and prolongs the hair's growth. Say no! <laughs> Losing more hair. So, yeah, it's not necessarily effective for everyone,、um, and some people often find they actually experience more hair loss with it initially、um, before they notice any, any regrowth or any results.、Um, and it tends to only be effective for as long as you're using it for, and it can be a very expensive treatment in the long run. <laughs> Ha ha ha!
なんてことにこれはジャンプアニメの主人公としてはまずくないですか完全に脇役の髪型ね。Right. I mean,、uh, I like how they redid the opener with Kentucky's <laughs> new hairstyle. Um, but I'd have to disagree here with Kagura, you know. You don't necessarily have to be a sidekick character or a side character just because you're bold. And there's many examples in both、uh, sort of Hollywood as well as in anime. You know, you've got people like、uh, Dwayne Johnson or Jason Statham. And in anime, you've got people like Saitama and you've got、uh, The Last Airbender, who's also bold. I mean, basically, the whole Fast and the Furious franchise is built on the idea of、uh, the underdog bold man, isn't it? <laughs> このままじゃ全員近いうちにクリリン状態あるシルエットでキャラの見分けがつかないアニメに未来はないよいやある意味斬新かもしれないぞ全員同じ髪型のアニメ<笑>いや、oh, I love that they all look like Krillin、um, but you know what I think the actual Dragon, Be- Dragon Ball Z、um, sort of series took a sort of turn for the worse when, when, when Krillin regrew his hair I preferred him when he was bold もういいんじゃないですかリストみんなハゲればいいんですよそうすれば髪型だって自由自在じゃないですかどういう意味あるか決まってますよかぶ<笑>っちゃえばいいんですあ、oh, I like that、um, Yeah but I guess what he's getting at here are the, are the other treatments for hair loss、um, and those could include things like、um, hair loss camouflage and that could include things like micro scalp pigmentation Um, which is basically like a tattoo、uh, on the head that looks like hair,、um, or you've got things like wigs or hair systems, or as a last resort, you've got things like hair transplants,、um, which are a bit more expensive. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so、um, wigs or hair systems. Uh, have come a long way from where they used to be, you know, with the old toupee that sort of moved around the head or a gust of wind could blow off the head.、Um, and, you know, some of them are so realistic nowadays that they're almost undetectable.、Um, but yeah, Gintuki doesn't look recognizable with this new wig. <laughs> What? <laughs> What oh gosh. So yeah, I love what they've done here with Shinpachi's sort of wig here. It doesn't suit his style at all. It almost looks as though that's a female wig. I'm not, I'm not sure. But as I say, you can get all of these custom made ones nowadays that,、uh, that suit your hair type and your colour,、uh, the colour of your hair as well.、Um, or you've got options for、um, things like hair fibres to cover up any bold patches or the micropigmentation that I spoke about earlier. Come on, come on, come on. I'm going to get a lot of money. What? 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 Yeah, so I agree. That's the downside to things like wigs or hair systems. They're not a permanent fix and they also require maintenance.、Um, so every couple of months you need to go and get it changed or swapped out,、um, which, would, uh, which would incur more of a cost, which, which, which isn't great. So she's taken off the whole top part of his hair with a buzz cut. But, you know,、um, this brings me to my next point.、Um, you know, it can look great by just doing a buzz cut, and there are so many examples of it out there. And sometimes it's better just to rock having a bold head rather than trying to cover up any, any bold patches, particularly for a man where it's more sort of socially acceptable to have a bold head. I understand for women it can be a bit more tricky and、uh, a bit more difficult, but you know, there are people out there that also rock it too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love those、uh, Gintama sort of facial expressions. They're so well done and iconic.、Um, but it looks like here that they're all going to go for a forced buzz cut. So let's see what they look like. Oh, God. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> ここ歌舞伎町で蔓延していた突然毛髪が抜け落ちてしまうという怪現象は収束へと向かっています原因は波平成のアマントが持ち込んだ病原菌であることが判明いたしました
well, you know, I could have guessed it with it being Gintama that there was going to be some weird and wonderful cause for the hair loss. Um, and there were a few others that I hadn't mentioned earlier that are more reversible, and those could include things like bacterial, fungal, or viral infections of the skin. There are also other reversible causes, such as skin conditions that can trigger hair loss, like eczema or psoriasis. Uh, and then just lastly, you have more common things like traction alopecia, where if people pull, their, pull on their hair too tightly, that can lead to um, hair loss uh, just through the tension being put on the hair. Okay. <laughs> so seemingly they found a cure for the hair loss in the form of a tablet. Um, now, there isn't sort of a miracle cure out there for um, male pattern baldness or baldness generally, um, but there are some tablets that you can try, and the most common one that's prescribed is something called finasteride. And what that looks to do is reduce the impact of testosterone on the hair follicle and thereby reduce your, your hair loss. But it's not something which works overnight, and it tends to take a couple of months before you see the results. <laughs> Oh man! No. Uh, firstly, I love that sort of thing. <laughs> Shinpachi sort of playing the drums on his head. I sometimes do that when I'm thinking. Um, and I like how they kind of did it as a hypothetical scenario, what they would all look like. And, you know, I think Kentucky rocks it quite well. I think he's got kind of like a handsome looking face. But then again, you know, he's very iconic for his silver hair, so uh, it's difficult to weigh them up. Mm. Oh. <laughs> and as you can see here, you know, some people really they search for miracle cures in their desperation and end up trying things that can do damage to the to the scalp and to the remaining hair. So I would really recommend it uh, recommend that your treatment is guided by a doctor. Um, now, as I said before, there aren't any sort of permanent measures in terms of medications that can treat your hair loss, um, but you can have some surgical treatments such as a hair transplant, which is more permanent, but it depends on how suitable you are a candidate, uh, as results can be very variable from person to person. Oh no. So Oh no! So it looks like Sarah Huddle has taken the medication himself and it looks like it was too effective. And uh, that touches on another point. Some medication side effects are that they can cause uh, hair regrowth. Um, and in fact that's how many of the treatments for hair loss were discovered. Um, but you know, I wouldn't recommend trying treatments that are for other conditions because there are likely to be other side effects as well. Um, but it looks like here uh, Gintuki and his team are going to end up being bold for, for, for at least a couple of months whilst they wait for that cure. But I'm sure they would have sorted it out by the next episode. Okay, well that's the end of today's scene and the end of today's video. Uh, I hope you found it useful, educational and uh, entertaining going through it. If you did, please do leave us a like and subscribe down below and why not come over to my channel to view more videos like this. Um, but otherwise, if you have any recommendations, leave those down below and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.